This is all over it. And to Amelia's point, this is the easiest green in chain. I'll give us two hole locations that are kind. One in eight so far. <laughs> and the breeze has died down a little bit, so she can be looking to hit this right on the number. Another incredible wedge shot. There we go. That's how you do it. That'll be a birdie for Jennifer Cupcho. Karen Stupples watching in Ji Chun. Yeah, this is a second shot into this second. Already a birdie on her card at the first. Former winner of the US Women's Open at Lancaster. Oh my hey. goodness, that was almost <laughs> the very best possible start she could have. She will have noticed that the balls have been receptive. What we've seen so far with wedge in hand, you can be able to control your distances still relatively early in the day. We saw the greens firm out yesterday. Say Young Kim for birdie. This should be very straightforward. She was pin high just to the right, so pretty much straight up that hill. Nicely done. A thing of beauty. Marrying the line and speed perfectly, and say Young, off to a good start. You hear her talking with her caddy. I'm gonna play it a little bit longer because it's back into the wind uphill. Just a beautiful iron player, and she just has a classic golf swing that is gonna serve her well for many years. And in the back of your mind, you're like, okay, don't go too far. And that'll give her another chance for a birdie after go after a birdie at the first. I'd say she is focused and ready for today. It's a good place to be in. As we take you to the ninth. And Nasa Hataoka. Another little delicate putt down the hill. I, I can't believe that got to the hole. <laughs> it looked like it stopped about 10 feet short. Oh my goodness. She's getting familiar with the back of these greens here. Well, and this is another one of those hole locations that nicely done this time around that challenge the fall off areas and really test the players on how aggressive do you want to play into these holes. We're going to go to five. Say Young Kim. Speedy. Again. She actually got quite lucky because her tee shot actually went much farther left than where she ended up. It took a little bit of a ricochet down to there. So all in all, well done, Sayon Kim. Birdie putt for Cheyenne Knight at the eighth. Look at her pick up speed. What a putt. And almost every single putt from this side of the hole has come up short. Just enough! Not Mo. To 12. And this is Nasa Hataoka with her second shot, just from the, the peak of the, the fairway there. Another treacherous hole location, but Nasa. Ah! Frida Schenholt. Okay. We may have seen as many birdies from off the green today than we've seen from on. <laughs> They're hard to come by, to Karen's point. Yep, that final stretch. Get a little look here on the tee at 16. Celine Boutier. Now we'll be able to get an advanced look of what the leaders will be facing coming down the stretch. This is a tough hole location to get it close. But Celine's proving me wrong. Oh, my goodness. Wow. I've seen a couple of those already. Just started the show. Just a short time ago at the third, Lydia Ko trying to chase. Par three, 110 yards today. Nearly the ace. Morgan, certainly a name that those at the top will keep watching. It's the U.S. Women's Open presented by ProMedica being played here. Minji Lee started the day with the lead, birdied the first, short time ago at the second. 
rolls in a long birdie putt. What a start for her final round, trying to win this championship for the first time. Bronte Law at six under. This her second and four from 143 a moment ago. Very good. Pick, the, picking up over 10 yards yeah, in 10 driving yards. distance. Totally changed. Ellie Corda at the eighth or second. This a moment ago. Really good. Up and downs this. So me Lee here at the ninth. This hole has been really tricky today. Look how quick this putt is from the middle of the green. I think Caddy would just get out of the way. Yes, he's very excited because he knocked it in. And a bit of a bounce back today for Lee. She struggled, as you can see, in the early part of the round. Here's Nellie Corder for a birdie at 12. Trying to ease it down the hill, and does uh, just that. So Nellie moves to two under par. Is this a little right? Looks like she's leaning. Oh, gets a nice bounce. Use every bit of that ground. It's not very often you, you land, you try to land it short and right. Lindblad for birdie at 15, the par five. Oh, yeah. oh, one time with D. Wow, wow. And, and there she is, you can see in ninth. Now the birdie putt for Jin Young Ko, similar putt to the one she just watched from the player that she's playing alongside out of Norquist. Did she learn anything? Yes, she did. Well, you give the world number one the line and the pace, and she shows you exactly what to do. Looks to be what she's doing just right. The flag may need to bite. Yes! It did. That is bold. What a great play. At this 10 to 12 foot range. Time and again. How big does the hole look to her right now? It I must. Mean... Oh, beautiful swing. High shot down the right side of the green. Right center, I should say. I mean... She knows what she's doing. She's swinging that club like it's an eight iron. That's amazing. Just putting on an absolute clinic out here. She can't see it because of the shadows of the pines, but she's going to be very happy with the result when she gets up there. She just ran away from everybody. Minji Lee wins the U.S. Women's Open at Pine Needles.